Over 105,000 women undergo post-cancer breast reconstruction in the United States every year. A vast majority of these procedures use implants to reconstruct the breast. Plastic surgeons use biological scaffolding called acellular dermal matrix or ADM to provide support for mastectomy skin flaps and to improve the overall aesthetic outcomes. To date, however, there's been limited large-scale evidence-based studies comparing the effectiveness and safety of the major types of ADM in implant-based breast reconstruction. Therefore, the authors of this study in plastic surgery conducted a prospective randomized control clinical trial across multiple medical centers throughout the USA. They compared outcomes of almost 400 immediate post-mastectomy breast reconstruction that used ADM. Half of the women were treated with one major ADM product and the other half were treated with a different one. About 11 months after the reconstruction, the researchers found no significant differences in the results with respect to patient demographics, comorbidity, or reconstructive approach. There also was no statistical difference in the overall ADM-related complications between group A and group B. That's very important. They did note that prepectoral, that's above the muscle, placement of the ADM was associated with a greater risk potential overall. This was one of the first major studies of its kind into this matter. So more research is certainly welcome. But these results indicate that using ADM in implant-based breast reconstruction is both safe and effective with a low overall ADM-related complication rate. Therefore, for women looking to put the finishing touches on their victory over breast cancer through reconstruction, this is a very important development. As always, to learn more about breast reconstruction options available, you should start your conversation with a true expert, a board-certified plastic surgeon in your area that has expertise in breast reconstruction.